All right, classical conditioning, folks, we're gonna go with a neutral stimulus. So let's back up a little bit. Let's talk about how this whole thing, classical conditioning works, right? So we start out with an unconditional stimulus, one that elicits a response, basically a reflex. So with classical conditioning, we're gonna modify reflexes. Well, how do we modify reflexes? We simply take things like neutral stimuli, that right, is a neutral stimulus, and we pair it with an unconditional stimulus, right? So an unconditional stimulus, meaning one that elicits a response that you didn't need to learn anything about. Um, so um, I don't know, like pepper in the eyes or something, <laughs> you're going to sneeze and do all that stuff. Uh, that's an unconditional stimulus. So we could pair this with the pepper. We could do this and then brag it, go, Poof. and I could sneeze and this and sneeze, and then all of a sudden this the moment this neutral stimulus is paired with an unconditional stimulus, it's no longer neutral. We call it a conditioned stimulus or a conditional stimulus at that moment, right? Um, it usually takes a, quite a few pairings in order for this to establish some power, right? In order for this to produce the conditioned response, which in this particular case is probably a sneeze. So the neutral stimulus turns in to your conditioned stimulus after, repair, after one pairing with your unconditional stimulus.